Welcome to MOTD, and I believe it's episode 66, I'm not too sure, there's been so many now it's hard to keep track. Anyway, first up today we have Way Shrines of Skyrim, and this does require Dawnguard. Now this mod adds 9 Way Shrines into Skyrim, and the mod is based on the Way Shrines which were placed around Cyrodiil in Oblivion. The shrines were designed to give you a blessing if you prayed there, and they also played a big part in the Knights of the Nine DLC. Now, what the mod has tried to do is add some way shrines that were from Oblivion, but with something a little more interesting. Now, he's done this by having a puzzle on each shrine, or an action that needs to be done before you can gain access to the shrine. Now, once the shrine is activated, you will be rewarded with one or more unique items which will help you on your travels as Dragonborn and each gift from the Divine whose shrine it is. So, this is one of the shrines right now and apparently the modder will be doing guides for some of the puzzles, so some will be hard I imagine. Anyway, this is a shrine of Stendar and you can clearly see it's submerged, it's under the ground. Now we've got a guy over here which... Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Yep. You speak to a vigil now, a you can talk to him about... I'm not sure if it, I think it's a custom you character. You, you can talk to him about this. Stendar, Stendar and the such. A worshipper. Now, you've got to go in this. And you get teleported into this room. And look, we have loads of Dreamora. Now, I'm going to ignore these just for filming purposes because I believe you kill these and you'll get a key off them. I've already got the key by console command so there's no need for me to kill them. Anyway, you need the key to open this door which lets you back out into the world of Skyrim. Now once I'm back outside, move! You see it is raised up now and that is a shrine of a chest there. Anyway, if you killed these Dremora, as you are supposed to do at least for this shrine, you can search this guy and you will find the key, legitly. Now that's from the Kine Reeve Dremora. Anyway, let's have a look in the actual shrine. He's capable of combat, by the way. Come in here, up the step. Shrine of Stendar. All diseases cured, blessing of Stendar added. Now let's see what that actually does. I got a goddamn text message. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Is this it? Yes, it is. Fortify blocking by 10% for 8 hours. And let's have a look in the chest. We have the Amulet of Stendar, which also has the same effect. That's permanent, so if you wore that and the Blessing, I imagine that's 20% of a bonus. We have Rupee, and we also have the Shield of Stendar. And again, 30% more damage for your shield. So if you combine the shield and the amulet as well as the blessing, that's 50% damage reduction. I believe. Oh no, no yeah, it is, yeah. 50% that's a lot of damage reduction for your blocking. And I think that's really good. Anyway, let's look at one more shrine real quick. Anyway, I've arrived at the way shrine of Zenifar. And I've already acquired the key via the console. But let's have a look what we need to do. Each one has a puzzle and they will be different of course. Hmm, so this one, do you just press the button or something? And that's it? Maybe not. We've got the master chest. Which I can't unlock right now. But um I don't know what this is all about. Precisely. Probably a puzzle or something, I don't know. There'll be some kind of puzzle. So it seems trying to take the treasure actually teleports you to this place. It looks good, but let's have a look. Way Shrine of Jura. Oh, it basically shows you all the Way Shrines who've just been there. And we've got this a Khajiit. Something. These sands are cold. Right, so the he's here. I've already places. got the key. I did have the key. Unless it's been stolen off me. But we haven't got time for yes. these puzzles, so let's cheat. Because we have to. And this is the actual way shrine. Shrine of Zenifar. This will be blacksmithing, of course. And let's have a look what we've got. Prices are 10% better for 8 hours, so I imagine the items in the chest will be the same. 
Yes, prices are 10% better. 800 gold. We've got a spell tome. Conjure J. Dotto or Dato Familiar. Conjure J. Dato Familiar, whatever that is. Anyway, let's conjure this familiar. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's custom or if it was here before. No, J. Dato or J. Dato is this guy, so it's custom. And. Is it just a Khajiit that follows you? Or can you do some of him? Oh, I just wish you could actually select him and actually choose to sell your shit to him. Nonetheless, it's good. Anyway, how do I get out of this place? I want to see that chest. Anyway, let's have a look in this chest because I want you to look inside of it. See what's in here because it is still a chest. Unlock. We've got bad luck and rupee. A reward for your efforts. Now buy yourself some better attire. Or whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> anyway, this has been the Way Shrines of Skyrim, and I think it's a nice little bonus to the game. I'll explore them all later when I can be um, when I've got time. Anyway, let's move on. Now, this awesome piece of hardware is the Orcish Blade Master Armor and Weapons. Now, this is standalone. Now, the mod basically says, "Why the hell should these orcs, who have thousands of years of smithing experience?" have such crappy armor in the vanilla game and when you think about it it's true now this is um law friendly it looks really good it looks fearsome and i think it's amazing and you'll notice i'm now in a lightroom for showing armor mods because you can see everything yay and i think it looks brilliant to be honest with you the detail is amazing and i love the little banner you can put on your back. I absolutely love that. I have to say, I do love it. I'm not an orc, but I might even use that banner. And of course, it comes with its own weapons. Now let's go into the inventory and have a look. We have the Orc Blade Master Battle Axe. Have a quick look up close, maybe, if it'll let me. No, it won't. Yes, it will. This is the battle axe, and again, it's really well designed. We've got the dagger. Oops. We've got the sword. Now, let's take a look at the actual armor up close. So you guys can see the detail of this. Like I said, extremely well detailed. And this is much better than that vanilla crap. Like I said, I'm not a orc person, but I'd still use it. Now, this is the banners that you can wear on your back. They are optional, but you've already seen them, and I imagine you think they look quite good, because I think they do. Like I said, I would wear these on my main character, even though he's not an orc, just because they look awesome. And they do let you look more fearsome. Now, I've got the boots. These are awesome boots. The only thing I have a problem with the boots, maybe, is the textures. I mean, they aren't really good. They aren't super HD, but... Everything can be improved. While the gloves and other stuff, their textures look pretty much perfect. It's just the boots I've seen so far that I'm not really fond of. Just the boots. Let's have a look at the helmet. Zoom in. There we go. Again, the helmet's got really good textures. Obviously, forget the inside because you'll never see that when you're wearing it. But again, really good textures. And the shield. Now, finally today, I have another great mod, which is Spell Tome Conjure Dragon. Now, that is great in itself. Now, if you come to the Riverwood Trader, you will find it on the desk. Now, it is steel, so you've got to be stealthy. Anyway, here is the spell, and apparently this mod allows you to summon slash conjure an ancient dragon for 60 seconds, wherever you are pointing. Now... There is a slight glitch with this, apparently when you, or when the dragon dies, sometimes you absorb a dragon soul. Now, you have to admit this is kind of useful, but not if you're into immersion, you're probably thinking, well, I don't want a dragon soul, I want to get them legitly by finding and killing dragons, but either way, it's useful for some. Now let's conjure this dragon. Still loving this armour. Mod of the days, ancient dragon. And this is our dragon, of course. Where's it going? 
<laughs> it's stuck in a vortex. I've got no idea what a dragon's doing right now. It's probably having a fit. Is it coming back down? What is it doing? Is it just like trying to follow me but flying at the same time? Yeah, it's following me, I think. Yep, it just stays above your head, it seems, until you're in combat. Um, let's get in combat with someone and actually try this out. Let me get a sword out so I can actually um, initiate combat. Man, these orcs, they run slow as hell. Do Is my dragon coming to help me? Yep, it's coming down. Mercy. Here it comes. It's about to expire though, I notice. My dragon's come to help me. Anyway, I want to see if it's true when the dragon is killed, you may absorb a soul. Now, I suppose the best way to do this is to use a console command, if I can catch the thing. Will that kill it? No, it's not killing it. You can see it wreaking havoc, though, so it's definitely killing people. I can't kill my own dragon. Land! I want to kill you! Anyway, you've just seen it's killed all these people, and last witness removed. So, I do like having a dragon at my um, beck and call. It is really good, regardless. Anyway, I can't seem to kill the dragon. It'll probably take too long to even try. Um, so, that will do for today's episode. There was one mod I couldn't do, which was Final Fantasy X Battle Music, which is a replacer, but it didn't work. And I didn't have time to fix it. Anyway, if I get it working, I'll feature it in maybe another episode. So, that will do. So, check the box below for download links. Please like, comment, subscribe. And, as a note to some people, you may be pleased to hear that I'm starting to use the Skyrim Creation Kit. Basically because I want to make my playthrough somewhat more personal by making my own custom mods that suit me in Skyrim. And I'll most probably upload them to the Nexus or Steam or both. So some people may enjoy them, some people might not, but they are basically for me and me only. But um, So if you don't enjoy them, doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> murdered in his own home, what a shame.